Greetings, citizens of Ashbin. What a nice day to be a gamer. My name is Matt. Today we are going to play an old game called Quake from 1996. As a matter of fact, this is one of my favorite childhood games. And this game has just turned 20 this year, so I have felt a pressure that I should make a review about it. Um, as you can see, this is the 20th anniversary map pack and the introductory map of that. Uh, it already feels similar to the original game. You can select a skill by running through one of the three hallways. What you, what you must know about this, um, this is not a mission pack. Uh, in a sense that it does not include new monsters or new weapons. It's, it's just really the uh, refreshing or the refreshment of the original experience. Um, so stay with me and let's kick some ass. Here we go, this is the first map, called uh, the military base. And as before in the original game, we have to kill grunts here. Oh, the elevator, the nostalgia, it's so high. Okay, let's go through the bridge. Uh, everything is suspiciously quiet here. Oh, okay. I'm there we go. I recommend you to pay attention to the amount of enemies the game throws at you. Because uh, there are a lot of enemies, and this is the first map. So, this clearly indicates that this is uh, not a map pack for beginners, but for advanced players. Players who who have played the original game before. Ah, oh, I really like it's good to be it's good to be back here. All the hallways, the design. Oh and the nail gun. I've almost forgotten about that. Okay, so where do we have to go now? We have the silver key and we have to go up through here. Yeah alright. So far so good. What is this? Is this a one way? Is this a one system? Hmm. I have some um some half-life feelings. Okay. We have the double barrel shotgun. I go off the quad damage. Um my instincts tell me uh, that we should, we should pick up this. Let's go. What? Why so many grunts are here? Oh my god. And dogs. Where do we have to go now? Do we have to go into the slime? I don't think so. Let's go around. Okay, let's dive into the slime. See what we can find there. Uh, some armor, some some ammunition, a health pack. It's not much. Uh, oh, right here. Okay, the left, uh, the hallway on the left side uh, leads you to the exit. And forces. Walk into the slip gate to exit. I know. I know. So this was the first map. Uh, and let's go to the second map. So here we are. Uh, at the second map of Diamond Jones of the Past. Um, the game already throws a lot of enemies at us. So uh, let's try to avoid those and forces. The area is powered down, so it seems that our objective here is to power up the whole area. On the right side, you can see explosive barrels and crates. We should avoid shooting at them, or at least we should shoot them from a safe distance. Come closer. There you go! Or you can use it to your advantage and blow up your enemies. Ah. In the original game, there were not many enforcers, enemies like this, but here in this map pack, there are a lot. Oh, you're still alive down there? 
There you go, buddy. The door is powered down. So I guess our only option is to go through the water. Oh yeah. These tunnels. To the right first. Because I, I have a... Um, my instinct tells me that uh, this is the right way. Haha, <laughs> that's a little pun there. Uh, there's the quad damage in a spotlight. Uh, I have a bad feeling about this. Uh, let's go. But of course, this is an ambush. This is an ambush. Oh my god, look at the amount of enemies here. Do you remember when I told you that this is this is not a map pack for beginners? Do you need any more proof? Imagine, uh, imagine the whole part without the quad damage. Of course, an expert, an expert player can do it. But a beginner would be would be clueless about what to do. Okay, let's go down. Because uh, I have left some health packs here. Yeah, and ammunition. Also, the backpack. Okay, let's go back. So, where do we have to go now? Um, Oh, I want to pick up that one as well. Um, yeah, um, I lost the way. Okay, there you go. Oh, what just happened? Right back where we started from. Okay, let's try to swim to the other way. To the left this time. Um, oh, and the dark place here as well. With a button. A blinking button. Oh, I guess it's powering up. Oh, all systems are now online. Good. Oh, and the enemies are back. Come on, doggy. Come at me, doggy. So many plants and forces here. You have to be careful and dodge all the projectiles if you want to survive. Okay, 41 HP, that's not much. Freeze, freeze, he said. Freeze, freeze, an ambush again. Come on. I need the simple, simple shotgun for them, not the double barrel one. It's more accurate at a greater distance. Okay, we have some health, ammunition, the double barrel shotgun, and, and also more health. So many M forces on this map. Can we go up there? It would be really good. Is that a secret place? I don't think so. It's too easy. It's, it's too accessible. Hmm, okay. Let's try that one again. Oh no, okay. How am I supposed to jump over that place? Is that a secret? Oh, never mind, okay. I don't want to waste your time with, uh, with futile attempts like this. Okay, here we go again. So, this time we should try the middle door. Which is already open. Hi there, doggy. Come on. Oh, the dog was lurking around there. And this is one of the, the most difficult parts of this map. And as you can see there, those enforcers are up there in, in that fortress or in the bunker-like thing. And you have to cross the bridge if you want to kill them, or you can kill them by one by one from a distance, but that's difficult as well. I suggest you do so, because uh, if you go... If you go closer, there's an automatic uh, plasma gun on the wall, a mounted, a mounted gun, which will kill you. Let me show you. There you go. That's the plasma gun. If I um, step here, 
it shoots incredible amount of plasma. It's really dangerous. So let's let me do a save here. Um, uh, if you jump over, it's doable. Okay, if you press the button, the gun uh, shuts down. And there's the gold key. Oh my god, 5 HP. Did you see that? I barely survived. Okay. So let's go back and search for, for some health packs. Please, please, please. I'm sure I have left, I've left some health packs back here somewhere. Can we dive here? Oh no, 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 no. no. Oh, 5 HP. How am I supposed to do this? Okay, I have a bad feeling about this one. Enemies? End of the map. Without enemies? Health on the ref on the right. Yeah. Okay. Oh, and there's a secret teleporter here. Which teleports you back here. Okay, let's use the elevator once again. Um, here we go. So here we are, citizens of Ashbin. On the third level of Dimensions of the Past. Ooh, an old friend is lurking there. The grenade launcher. Let's kill this older. Oh, the nostalgia again. Sorry guys, it's just I... It's been too long. Oh, and the zombies are here as well. I used to be scared of them when I was a child. It's uh, something about the noise they're making. It's so, it's so inhuman. Uh, they are creating the perfect um, Lovecraftian atmosphere of Quake. Their contribution is uh, unquestionable. Okay, let's push this button. Hmm, I wonder what it, what it triggers. Oh, I guess we will find out soon enough. One zombie, and another one. Oh my God! Okay. Are they gone? Yes. So here we have two little doors. One requires the blue key to be opened and another one requires the gold key. I think uh, we have to find both, I suppose, uh, if you want to complete the level. So, hmm, I think we have to go underwater here. Uh, okay, let's go underwater. Oh, underwater zombies. Good. And an ogre, and another one. Oh, I killed. We kill him blindly. Did you see that? Oh yeah, knights are approaching. Come on, knights! Taste my grenade. So I think I was thinking about um, the upcoming Quake game, Quake Champions. Uh, I think. Um, I mean, I, I like the way how the how Quake 3 took the direction of multiplayer and uh, left single player behind, but somehow I was a single player person, so I have mixed feelings about Quake Champions. First of all, because it's a multiplayer Quake without a single player campaign. Uh, I was expecting um, a, a remake, a reboot for the first original game, for this one. Which, which, uh, which was a possibility, let's say. Um, the developers were talking about uh, such a possibility, but for some reason, uh, they dropped the idea. Um, okay, let's kill these death knights in the meantime. It's, it's difficult to shoot and talk at the same time. Um, so competitive multiplayer is the direction again, and uh, of course it has to be a trap. And, um, and I think it's okay. Uh, I'm not sure about the abilities though. Um, I think they're working in Overwatch, but Quake is just a different style. Quake, uh, with the brand and the name itself, established uh, a certain style of uh, gameplay, which, if, 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 I mean, if it's changed, the target audience just will not buy the game. Um, so they really have to be careful about putting the abilities into the game. 
Um, that was close. Um, however, uh, in the first videos uh, we have uh, watched, um, I really liked how they how they nailed the map designs. The map design and the atmosphere, the textures, and the overall feeling really uh, is really similar to the original Quake game, the 1996 Quake. Also, Ranger, the uh, the protagonist of the original game, is in the is in Quake Champions. So uh, undoubtedly, it's uh, it bears similarities. But I don't know how it will turn out. Um, And, and, and again, I had mixed feelings because I was expecting a, a Lovecraftian gothic style single player quake, but oh, it's a secret. But um, but as instead, I got a Lovecraftian gothic style multiplayer quake, which is uh, more similar to Quake 3 Arena, uh, which is not bad, of course. Um, where should we go? In the meantime, I lost my way. Okay. Let's save here. Oh yes, we have the silver key, so we have to open the door now. Right, the underwater door. Yes. Oh my god. Okay. Death Knights are the common enemy in this game. In the original Quake, Ogre uh, ogres were the, the common enemies, but here Death Knights are the common enemy instead. Okay, let's open this one. Um, also, um, I don't really understand the internal politics of uh, Bethesda and uh, and its software because I think uh, with Doom 2016 they have nailed the the multiplayer experience, uh, in a sense that they have uh, they have resurrected the original Quake 3 Arena um, feeling, and now they are making a game to do so again. Why? What for? They are working against their own work. Why would they release two similar games? I just I just cannot understand. I'm really wondering how 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 Quake Champions could be different from Doom 2016 multiplayer. If you have any ideas, please let me know in the comment section below because I, I'm I'm really I'm really puzzled about this this difference. Um, we need to find a gold key now. Oh yeah, and it's uh, it's somewhere around here on the water. Uh oh. Okay, I have found a small place to catch some, to catch my breath. Okay, this is the place I have already visited. Hmm, I lost my, um... Oh, there is the gold key. And I'm the to zombies once again. Okay, what is this for? Nothing, it's just, uh... It leads. It leads to. No, it leads nowhere. Yeah, the Death Knight is down. So Death Knights, I hate them. They're so tough. That's the biggest problem about Death Knights. They are so tough and fast. Look at that. Okay. Um, I'm sure that Quake Champion, um, Quake Champions will change the loadout system, uh, which was uh, established by uh, Doom 2016, which is a good thing because the only of only thing I could complain about um, in Doom 2016 is is the loadout system, is that you can have only two weapons at a time instead of uh, picking up weapons. Uh, what happened now? Oh, I, I, I haven't pressed the room button here. Oh my god. Let's save here. It's going to open again. No, I have to press that one again and sprint. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Right in time. Oh my god, that was close. I have the gold key now, so let's head back to the... I mean, let's swim back to the... To the little doors. Uh, where were they? Here. Yeah, I found it. Um, okay. All oh, ogres around. There are some ogres around. So why would Doom 2016 focus on multiplayer if, if it has a really good single player game and they are planning to release a multiplayer only Quake game? Um, okay, I press this one around. The water gate has been raised. This is the last gate. So let's save here. I'm a bit paranoid. Okay. This is it. Oh, and here we have the nail gun. I don't, I don't like this. It's suspiciously quiet. Oh, and from the back, from the back, a feed. One button, and the other one. I think it opens that door. Sequence complete. Oh yeah, and there's the end of the map. HP pass through the Arxy exit. So just thank you for thank you for staying with me for this video. Um, uh, please um, please let me know um, let me know about your opinion um, on Quake Champions and Doom 2016 and the differences. Also, if you like this map pack, uh, stay tuned because I'm going to um, do a playthrough of this uh, in part two and part three. I'm going to complete the whole map pack. And thank you for watching. Until next time, hail citizens of Ashbane.